I'm here at the World Bank's headquarters in Washington, D.C., where representatives from the private sector, the public sector, and civil society are gathered with World Bank staff and senior management to discuss pressing development challenges, from procurement to big data to climate change. Many of the sessions scheduled have been completely packed. Just yesterday, I was at an event on moving to a low-carbon economy, and I couldn't get in because the room was too full. This just shows you the interest in these meetings, and while many of these sessions are focused on best development practices and reaching concrete development goals, others here are wondering about the status of internal reforms at the World Bank. Speaking to reporters this morning, World Bank President Jim Young Kim said that from his perspective, reforms at the World Bank are going much smoother than they were during the annual meetings in the fall. Others here are speculating about the future relevance of the World Bank in the face of new development actors. The emergence of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank and the decision of major European powers such as France, Germany, Italy, and the UK to join suggests a changing multilateral landscape. Meanwhile, others are talking about LGBT activist and World Bank country officer for the Maghreb, Fabrice Houdart, who is under investigation for leaking a draft of the World Bank's social and environmental safeguards, an accusation Houdart denies. This development has angered many social activists and bank staff who feel that the World Bank is fostering a culture of retaliation. We'll be rolling out an exclusive interview with World Bank President Jim Young Kim, where he reflected on World Bank reforms, talked about the emergence of the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, and described the process of reformulating the World Bank's safeguards. Stay tuned to devex.com for this and more coverage from the World Bank Spring Meetings.